We're here for the Hoosier Vintage Wheels Fall Swap Meet. This is always a good swap meet. We were here in the spring and filmed that. I come to this swap meet every year. There's always some great bargains and great buys. You never know what you're going to find at this swap meet. What you got on the cabs? Which one? This one? Yeah. Cab in front, which is small truck front end. Probably. Oh, front, you're welcome. There's another one here if you want it. 2750. Okay. Thank you. Yep. What about the truck? Uh, 46. Uh-huh. I'm on I'm on S5250, probably 47. Okay, thank it you. Okay. Thirty-six is nice for fourteen five. There's the phone number five zero two seven five eight zero nine zero seven. It's kind of hard to get to because there's a lot of stuff around it. Not a bad looking car. just coming up people are just unwrapping stuff You guys want to see footage of the spring show just click onto this video here in my archives and it'll show you everything that was here in the spring oh wow a bunch of hubcaps and wheels
There's a 52 for sale. 52 Plymouth. What do they want on this? 52 Plymouth. It's a solid driver. 4900. There's the phone number. 317-201-3060. New brakes. Water pump. Windshield. And fuel system. Not bad price for a two door. Getting ready for a busy day? Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. I got a motorcycle ride tomorrow and can't be here. So hopefully I'll make it a little bit today. Yeah, today's always a big day. Yeah, it really is. Saturday's kind of hit and miss, so. Yeah, we got our fall ride at church through the motorcycle ministry tomorrow, so that's a pretty much a must attend thing, you know. There you go. What church? Uh, Victory Bible Church in Canby. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, our motorcycle. Coke cooler. It's two fifty for it. I'll tell you what, getting one of these maybe for the garage for some storage would be cool. Not necessarily using it for a cooler. We have a shelf down there. Put stuff. Put stuff inside. How much you got on your parking meters? Hundred dollars. Thank you. Not a bad price. Twenty bucks. Looks like twenty bucks choice, and everything's full. Some more coolers. Stool go kart. That's cool. Eighteen hundred. Want to take that thing for a spin? What you got on your tap handles? Um, it depends on how many you buy, but okay. These right here start out at nine. Okay. Um, these are seven. These, these down here. Alrighty. Thank you. You bet. Some of them are brand new. They got yeah. out of the package. That blue moon looked brand new. That's what I was thinking. Uh, the old steering wheel knobs. I remember those. I had one of these on a 54. Forty-eight trim. Nice. I've seen your videos before, man. You have. 
have. How much? Frog how? Follies. I'm like, man, I, I wanted to go there. Yeah, that's a good show. How you doing? I'm doing good. How you doing? Good, good. How much you got on the old Ford? 1800. 18. Gang info for it? Phone number or anything? Yeah. Oh, I see it over there. All right, I'll show yeah. it. I appreciate it. Yeah. Got a good title with it. It's got the 352 engine in it. Kind of rare. Okay. Good luck with it. Thank you. Good seeing you. Good to see you. Get a little info here. Another 40 cent Ford truck. Yeah, there we go. 1800. 618 407 7871. Typhoon looks pretty slick. A good little cruiser right here. $125. Man, you can't beat this. As long as you have brand new tires, all cleaned up, ready to roll. That's not a bad price right there. You go to Walmart, you're gonna spend more than that on a cheap bike. something cool that is vintage I got one similar my dad passed away and uh, then he's got the helicopter too so those are worth about 150 not the helicopter, not the helicopter. Get the helicopter. really well, yeah you, you, you start them up and uh -huh. just launch them and they go up until they run out of gas and then they crash and then no, they glide down yeah Thank you for the info. Let me know how many of you had this when you were a kid. I did. Man, this brings back some memories. There's all kinds of good little stuff pulling in. How much you got on the airplane? 150. 150. I had this when I was a kid. It didn't last long. <laughs> I had one of them when I was a kid too. That was the best flying one of all of them. Yeah. Because when you crashed it, it just popped apart because it just rubber banded together. Yeah. All the other ones weren't rubber banded together. They broke. Yeah. Brings back some memories here. What year is this? Do you know? Not, not for sure. I'm, I'm thinking from the 60s, though. Yeah. All right. Thank you. All new emblems. Marker lights. I got a little bit of anything here.
was some, some kind, kind of, of convention. promotional thing they gave yeah. away. Yeah, he'd uh, ask if I had a piece on There's some weight there. No. I really should be replaced with it. Kind of one of those things I got. Don't believe there is. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a I've got a book oversized here hydraulic jack. <laughs> That is a good deal. This t-shirt guy's here every year in the spring and fall in the same corner. He's got some great deals on shirts. Oh, I picked up shirts from him almost colors. every year. Drag racing shirts, all kinds of cool stuff. 2X, check out these shirts. Tona 500. How you doing? I'm fine. How much your shirts? Three dollars or eight for twenty. Three bucks for this? Yes, sir. Okay. Whatever you find. Yep. I get shirts from you every year. It's, I like it. I like it. You, I appreciate it. I mean, you can't beat the price. I'm, I'm happy to hear it. <laughs> These are event shirts. That was thirty-five bucks back in the day. How much was the Daytona shirt back in the day? Thirty-one. You can't beat that. Three bucks a piece. <laughs> Find anything good? Oh, uh, I don't know. There's probably if you like if you like Purdue. They got Purdue shirts. Yeah, Purdue. Yeah, I'm a Purdue fan. Oh, there is a lot of Purdue shirts. Yeah. Wow. This, this is kind of a cute one. Yeah, let's go with this. Beat it. 
Cut to the check. Twitter or something. Change the oh, I know that. Yeah. That's you gone. You make this? I'm doing good. I built this thing about 33 years ago. Oh yeah? It's been and, around that long? And uh, yeah, I sold it to a friend and he sold it to his friend and that friend sold it to another guy. I finally got it back. <laughs> and uh, it's gonna stay in the family now because I can't walk, so it's not it's a necessity now. <laughs> there you go. All right. I see it around quite a bit. I've always wanted to ask you about it. Yeah, it, it, it's it's fun and and uh helps me out too. Yeah. You know? Well thank you. It's a lovely piece. What's the engine? Oh it's a uh, Golf cart, three wheel golf cart. Okay. Uh, I think Harley Davidson is about the only one that was making those back, you know, in the day. It's a lovely piece. Well, it's beat up pretty bad. The last two guys that, that owned it liked it. Oh. And uh, they ran it into poles and down in ditches and everything else. And I just haven't had time to get back on it and straighten it up a little bit. But It's a showpiece. As long as it runs. Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> you know. All Have right. a good day, guys. Thank you, too. Yeah, you bet. Thanks again, Jim. Okay, Jim. I'll see you. I'll be right here. I'll see you. I went over to get it. Didn't have a spark plug in it. I put PD blaster in it yesterday. And I think I'll take a hundred bucks for it. And I, I paid him a hundred and eighty because he had, had the tank cleaned, which I It's like that come from Home Depot or Lowe's. Nice storage cabinet though for the garage. Uh, winter's gonna be coming up soon. After all, we are at the fall swap meet. Not gonna be on TV? Everyone will want your autograph then. Oh boy. Coca Cola chair set. 75. I told you there's a little bit of everything out here. <laughs> Even lunch. <laughs> Speaking of lunch, they got places to eat up here too. And plenty of restrooms. I'm kind of getting in a vintage camper lately. Yeah, we'll go check that out. Not that way. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Trade ain't no good. Man. I won't have to. It's overrated. What's that? Trade. <laughs> she says. She says how much you want. I think this was here in the spring swap meet. I like that. I don't think it's for sale. You're more than welcome to open the door and go in and look. It, what year is it? A 1948. 48? That's 1951. 51. It's a holly? Yes. Okay. And it's the only one left. It's uh.
I've been getting into these lately, the old campers. Yeah, well, go on in and look. Oh, that's all right. I haven't made the... Very cool. Yeah, we've had a lot of people look, and we've had a lot of younger couples come by, and they bought old campers, and they said, you know, so we're trying to keep it original, and I said, well, that's what he's done is keep it yeah. original. I think this are, these are coming back and stuff. That's why that younger generation, I think, likes them. Yeah. Which is good. Yeah. Well, he went to Michigan, and this is where this was built. He went to Michigan to buy it. Okay. How long has he had it? Long, long time? I don't Hey Danny, how long have you had the camper? Uh, probably about eight years. Looks nice, I like it. Yeah, but the old guy that owned it had it for years and years and years, yeah. and he just, he didn't use it anymore. Yeah. He didn't want it to set and go to waste. Sure. So, and the only th time I'll we- I'll let you close it. <laughs> the only time we use it is we come down here with it. We use it. Twice you had it here in the spring, didn't you? We had I it remember here it. Year. Yep. Yes. Yep. And she said that's the only one in existence. Yeah. We ain't found any like it. Yeah. If you Google this, 1959 Holly Camper, you know what you get? What? This one. A video of that one. Oh, yeah? But I didn't put it up there. The guy I bought it off of did. Wow. And he, he does a walkthrough. Yeah. And I didn't know it until after I bought it. Yeah. It's neat. I like it. Yeah. Well, I told him, I says, uh, now, so far they haven't, but I told him, I said, hey, we should start charging for him to look at it I'll make and more go money in. I said, we'd make more money than what we sell. <laughs> I think it's neat because they want to look at it. Yeah. The first year I brought it up here, uh, some old guy came over and was talking about it. He said, you mind if I look around this thing and take measurements of it? I said, no, go ahead. And he come over three or four times and took measurements. Well, he does he want to make one? That's what I asked him. I said, you going to make one? And he goes, yeah, I'm going to make a model. Oh, uh, okay. That's when they had the model car thing up yeah. there. Yeah. I never have seen how much you got on your clocks? Ten. Okay. Well, I got about six different kind there. Yeah, that's a good six price. Tomorrow, take a double A battery back there. Okay, thank you. That's a good price for them. Yeah, I came by yesterday and happened he had it. Tomorrow, different color, but he bought one anyway. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Looks like it might have a pretty nice day today. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. Well, good luck today. I know, I know the bike in late 30. The Eagle was sold by Gamble. No, it's a wizard. It's a wizard. It's a wizard. That it's a newer wizard. They come from China. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, got the original seed on it. There. I, I had a tag, I had it all made out, I and it blew out like coming over here. So I looked back up, there's a bike on there for $400, just the bike. So it does have a, uh, the front fender has a little light on it, but, but yeah, it's a, If you guys like stickers, I got a video oh, yeah. in my archives on how to get free merch. It's this video right here, and you can get some free stickers. From my channel to put on your toolbox if you want check the video out and I'll, it'll explain how to get them instead of having to pay for them are you from winchester no that's what i'm on the hunt for some of these tire ashtrays that's what i'm on the hunt for i used to have a collection of these and got rid of them many years ago I was the flagman for the vintage, vintage part. I said for all day. Yeah. Not that I know of, but that you know, I don't know. Yeah, I know who it is. Plates for five bucks a piece.
hundred dollars, eight hundred dollars later, yeah. you know, like it was a five dollar fix. It was like, yay, good job. Wish I'd have read that before, but still, it needed a, it needed a new gas tank. It had a pinhole in it. You know, it was dirty and gross. So. after those blue ones in that box where he is right okay. there. They're the red ones. They're the red ones right there. And the prices are on the back. Now I I have unused ones here that are new old stock left over from the state. These are 30 for those. Okay. But they're perfect. So it depends on what you want. They would be what do you I'm sorry. They all the same county or uh well they're I think two counties. 34 and 49 for the unused. Yeah. But, uh, what are you after? I never find it. A 60. Yeah. <laughs> Owen County? Yeah. How'd yeah. you know that? <laughs> because that's where my brothers and sisters live. I see. You know, Owen, those uh, smaller counties are hard to find. Yeah, I know what they're telling. I mean, yeah. you know, if you can live with a different county. Yeah, what about 53? Uh, you got one of them? County 53? Yeah. You know what I have here? Looks like these are pears. That's for the boys that got them in pears. Tonka Wrecker. I don't imagine there ain't too many of them around. Mags, three bucks each. You know what I'm looking for? If you ever come across the uh, Bardell, the small cans, but if I need a hundred of them. You find like a whole box, yeah. give me a call. Yeah, yeah they're the yellow ones, about that tall. Uh, about this wide, I Someone's been shopping at Ollie's. How much you got on this truck kit? Okay. All righty, thank you.
This guy's just setting up too. It's still early. Game model kits? Uh, I got some old ones. They're like uh, 44s and stuff like that. Okay. They're like $25. They're half started and stuff. Alrighty. Thank you. <laughs> it's been a little bit. I just said, who did you? There's a cool hot rod. That's cool. Hairy, doesn't it? I like it. Yeah, I saw it this morning. I thought, man, that's cool. Yeah. I'm sitting inside. Yeah, we started over there at night. And you moving the other one over yeah, too? Yeah, we'll bring the other okay. one. Okay. Well, since you don't own them and you don't know who owns them, I'll just I take one home. Jay Johnson. Oh, all right. Yeah. I was hoping maybe you didn't know and I'd just take one or something. Oh, I'll take one. <laughs> well, 34 truck. Here's all the info. 317-908-6112. It's for sale. 317-469-3476. This is 55K. Too. I like this Miller cooler. Look at it. I'm still at that other car in, so yeah, I'll just meet you there. Yeah, it comes right up. It even has the drain, original drain tube with it. When you want to screw on here and drain water out. Yeah. And all that is inscripted in this. It's made in Minneapolis, St. Paul, I think. Okay. Yeah, Minneapolis, St. Paul, and it's... I don't know what that says. Yeah, it's good looking cooler. But I really like the way the lid works. Oh, yeah. It's got the little plastic motor, doesn't it? And the mount's even there, and you put a battery in it, and it runs whatever speed you want it to run. And it laid in a window for sale is the reason it's bleached it. Okay. I don't care. Yeah, I it's got neat. the only one around with a motor. I like it. Thank you. You're welcome, sir.
Feather skirts. I don't think this guy's here yet this morning. If you, if, you, if you get one from them, take a picture of them and send it to me so I can uh, see what it looks like. And if I see one, I'll grab it. The old Oilers. Five bucks. Something of the past. change the oil I just uh, well now I rotate the tires when I change yeah. the oil but before I was just raising up the front and sliding under there with the creeper. But now I rotate the tires on every time I change the oil. Yeah see that this is what I got this is bigger than the eye. This is cool. I had one of these when I was a kid. I'm glad to see they've come out with it several times since. Highly recommend it for any kid.
How much you got on that Challenger? Uh, 20. 20. What about this one here? That's 20. Okay. Everything 20? Yeah. Okay. Or maybe the, the, there's a couple that ain't, but. Yeah. Unless you bought more than one, then I'd make some kind of deal. I don't know, man. Jay says you're a little too high on these things. Who? Jay. You know why Jay? Yeah, why ain't he out here? He's out here. Oh, is he? Yeah, I saw him earlier. He said not to come here because you were too high on stuff. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. No, I'm just kidding. No, he told me say that. No. <laughs> Are you related to him? No, or, uh, Alan is. The yeah. Guy next, the guy next to Okay, me. all right. That's who I'm supposed right to. Right there, Alan is. Yeah, that's who I was supposed to say it to. Oh, uh, he's probably talking about me too, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> C10, 20 grand, 317, 540, 762. Well, that's, that's what trade is. But it sees, the, it sees the short. They even sell t shirts and stuff for this show.
smoke going and then smoke going. So we're <laughs> running this big long stretch of road and I just, I light them up and we're going downhill and I'm like, let me smoke up from burning. Just like I thought it was just a rubber from burning. So I look back and smoke going. I'm like, oh, I thought it was a top fuel burnout. There was smoke a, a half a mile behind it. I'm like, my truck's on fire. And I pull off the side of the road, I shut it off, and I look under the fingers. I'm like, I just leave it. And everybody pulled up. Coming in a day early for the uh, AD Nationals that'll be here on Saturday. And we're here on Friday at the swap meet. But this whole field over there fill up. Of course, behind me, the trailers. Uh, they get quite a few trucks here for the AD Nationals. So you guys are getting a little preview. It was good to hear that lady earlier say that the younger generation is liking these campers. That was good news. Man, I'm into them. I ain't young. I'm old fart. We gotta keep these campers and old cars and hobby alive. This one, Detroiter Homes? I don't know. You can see my long shadow. It's still early. I've been here for, uh, I don't know, two hours maybe. I mean, I got here when it was dark and started the video right when the sun was coming up. Oh man, 
there's some nostalgia. Kmart, Kmart Creeper. How cool is that? Love it. Oh, the Chevy is for sale. All right. I don't think it was for sale. There's the number on it. Yeah, yeah, that, that's a keeper. Alright, this 31's for sale too. I don't have to, you know. Three's enough. I'm glad we did. There's a number. And we got a four door 55. That's for sale too. <clears throat> Love that color. This is interesting. 60 Comet Wagon. Oh, I've ever seen one of these. This is a 302, 8-inch rear end, C4 automatic, Mustang front end, electric fuel pump, electric fan, 15-inch tires and wheels. There's the number. Let's take a better look at this comment. It seems pretty solid. At least for this area. <laughs> This Firebird's for sale. Always like the console and dashboard on these Firebirds. Yep, it's for sale. And the phone number. Saw this gasser roll in, this thing's cool.
And two. This thing's pretty. He still does pretty good though, don't he? 33 Ford. Phone number is 317 753 6427. Beautiful red. Beautiful. Yep, saw him rolling in. Well, they're from my buddy right now. Love a dollar table. Yeah, this place is starting to fill up now. I think it's about 9 a.m. Maybe 9.30. So I got here when the sun was coming up at 7. This lamp is cool. That's neat. Take some car parts and make a lamp. I like that idea. Okay.
There's phone number 812 249 2696. That trophy's cool. tools. Okay. Especially the body. How much you got on the body? I got 35 on it, but. There's the info. Yeah. How'd you get that body? Went to Pennsylvania. It belonged to the chairman of the East Coast Street Rod Nationals Association. Junior something. It was his car. It's got tinted windows, power windows. Anyway, he was cruising. Somebody slammed into him. Oh, wow. I was going to chop it up and make five windows. Too, about yeah. It. Still save money for buying a five. Yeah. Manny, I'd give you the. She had, I think, $75 on it. She couldn't get rid of it. It had the chicken stick and it had a few dado blades, you know, had a few different blades. It's got a decent blade. Here's a good little swap meet for model cars and slut cars. I've been to that. And I think I filmed it last year too. Here's a video of it that you can click on in my archives and check it out. I had 75, I'll take 50 bucks. Bicycle. Get rid of it. <laughs> I might have to give it away. You might have to. I've had to. <laughs> All right. Here Riley, I'll take it. Push it out of the curb, man. Yeah, I just advertise it don't run, so it seems a lot of hassle. 
<laughs> Does it run? <laughs> Hey, you were here in the spring. Every one of these since about is that the speedway Yep. I remember this stuff. I had a lot of people like it. They said and you painted it all, didn't you? Yeah, they said you did a good job. got the rollers on it and everything on it. And that's the wind dot there. That's 75 on that one. Just can't hardly find any of that, that those things anymore. Did you want that? I think so. Okay. What do you want? Yeah, that's a nice you just pull them up and you get the straw right out. That's pretty cool. And it's got the Amazon. I got another Pepsi box down there. It's got the bottle cap on it and everything. Oh, the uh, yeah, you wood, wood box. Yeah, you can't find it. Oh, do you find it? Oh, do you? They got different cities on them, you know, where they're from. Right. That is in damn good shape. It's got the advertising all the way around and it's got the bottle cap on. I got a bronze. It's got steak and shake. That is cool. I know y'all remember steak and shake. Cub foods. I miss cub foods. It was a great grocery store. I do 40 on It's amazing. These are starting to show up at swap meets now. We got 30, 7500 on this 39 Ford. Let's get a better look at it. Like someone started it and lost interest. That's for in with it. Someone lose interest in the 39, or is that how you got it? Okay. I've got another one I want to work on. So yeah. This one's taking up space, and I feel like working on it more. Well, here's the camper. 64. It's four. So it looks nice. Thank you. No Scotty? Yes. Yeah. Oh, can I look in it? Sure. How long have you had it? Uh, about 10 years. Man, that's cool.
Thank you. Uh-huh. That's what it looked like when I got it. Oh, yeah? Wow. Well, you did a great job with it. Definitely. Tore it all apart. Yeah. Well, you did the whole thing, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Was a lot of the wood rotten? Oh, yeah. 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 All the sidewalls and stuff. Yeah. Well, thank you. You bet. Get a better view of it over here. Man, that's nice. Tell you what, the more I keep looking at these, <laughs> maybe bring one home someday. It was a wild bike. I remember back in the 70s, man, these handlebars. How wild could you get handlebars and how wild could you get your forks? Get your forks all the way out for a chopper. That's how we rode bikes back in the 70s. Camaro 70 through 72 Chevelle okay yeah it's Chevelle 50 bucks it's not bad at all it's not banged up or dented up looks good Got six brands, five brands for El Camino only. 50 bucks. <laughs> and and they're, they're more for they're more for the person who wants the look. He said nice weather. Boy, is it ever. Beautiful weather. Not much humidity. Probably uh, mid 70s out. It's great weather for the fall here. Get on toolbox. Okay. Thank you.
Weiser and Harley chairs. That's interesting. Seventy-five bucks. have one of these sticking out of my 29 when I cruised around with uh, the rubber hose on it. People would freak out when I was driving down the road. It was a fun joke to pull. They thought I uh, ripped it from the pump. <laughs> hey, if you guys are enjoying this swap meet, make sure you subscribe because there's a lot of swap meets I go to and there's a lot of swap meets in my past archives. You can check them all out. Tire ashtrays. These are ten apiece. These are the plain ones. I want one that's got the you know, like Firestone on or something. I have to start getting another couple more of them. Shelf out of a grill. How'd you do that? How'd you get this guy to deal with it? Uh, <laughs> I found some shit he didn't really like. Yeah. <laughs> What's that little thing you got? GoPro. Thank you.
Definitely the best way to get around swap meets pulling a wagon. I've got a really cool wagon at home. I fixed up a little bit. I pulled at all the swap meets back in the day. I'll have to show that sometime. Pretty proud of that wagon. This company's here every year too. American Motorsports. Bring out a lot of stuff. Kind of pan and show you the whole setup they've got. All the way down there. It's up here. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> got more model kits. Yeah, I see the guy. Besides outside, they got several buildings with stuff inside also. So if we could check out all the buildings. Hey George, how you doing man? I am approximately groovy. How about yourself? You doing good. Keeping busy? I am two months behind. Well, you're keeping busy. And that's only after going to the Suds two evenings. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well good. Finally, people are not being hinky with their money after the corona. Yeah.
I like this moon eye sign. This is cool. 400 bucks. Man, that is nice. I like that a lot. That look good in my model room or uh, shop out in the garage. This is a huge swap meet, guys. You got it twice a year, the spring show, the fall show. I come to both. You can see the spring footage if you go back in my archives. And this, this fall show here is actually bigger than the spring show. It goes way down there. It goes around and almost like a horseshoe. You got this whole field. You got some buildings. Usually a car show going on. This weekend will be the AD Nationals. I think in spring there's a car show. Free parking. I think it's five bucks to get in. Kids are free and free parking. Definitely recommend this swap, mate. And again, I'm, I'm not even showing it all in this video. I, I can't. This video will be 10 hours long. So I'm just kind of showing all the highlights. And I'm not even really showing all the cars for sale. So if you want to see the cars for sale, go to the other video that'll be linked to this. And you can see all the cars that are for sale. There'll be a few cars for sale in this video, but not all of them. And again, if you guys are enjoying this content, make sure you subscribe because I go to a lot of swap meets every year. I even go to model car swap meets. But yeah, it goes all the way around there, all the way down. And again, there's buildings to go into, places to eat, plenty of places to sit and eat. Great swap meet. Let's get back to swap meet coverage. Man, this Hudson Hornet is cool looking. I like this. I don't know if it's for sale or if they've already sold it. I don't see any info on it. I'll have to go ask. This is nice. I like this. And for a four door, I'll tell you what, four doors are uh, getting popular. I've said that in some other videos, and the, the people respond back. The reason they're getting popular is because they're uh, inexpensive still. Cool about that, it kind of looks like it's got a factory chop. I like that car. Some more AD national footage. Again, it's a day early, so not ever, no, not even an eighth of the yeah. trucks are here. Oh my God, yeah. I'll show you what's here right now. There really is. And some of them look pretty good. Yeah. Of course, a little bit back in this video, there's some more footage of the trucks. We showed those earlier. It's a camper. Getting into the campers. And my wife probably wouldn't care if I drove, brought an old camper home. She likes camping. Yeah. <laughs> Again, this is the AD Nationals, which will be taking place tomorrow on Saturday. So I'm just kind of giving you a little highlight of about eight of the trucks that are going to be here.
City of Arkansas DOT truck. Oh my God. They bought it for a supervisor. That's why it's ugly, single stage yellow. <laughs> this original paint? Uh, no, it was originally white. The DOT painted it yellow to match all their oh road trucks. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I think it's a cool color. We love it. It was so bad when we, when we bought it. It was all kind of just chalky, yeah. white looking. Uh -huh. We thought it was going to be like a cream color. And me doing paint body shit, I was like, eh, that was like single stage paint. <laughs> kind of scuffed around on it a little uh -huh. bit, hit it with the polisher, and uh -huh. it's nice banana yellow. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. We love it though. That's like I said, it's my wife's truck, so she she loves it. She drove it a few times, and now we got a big old barn that needs to Hey, don't forget to put the Hoosier Vintage Swap Meet on your guys' calendar for next year because they got a spring swap meet and a fall swap meet. It's always a good one. We'll see you guys on the next video on Throttle Power. So I was walking out, I saw this old Belvedere. This thing's neat. We just don't see stuff like this anymore. I imagine a guy just drove here for the swap meet. I thought I got to show you the car. Thought you might like it. I like it. Let's check out the interior. I like this this extra ridge they put into the roof on both sides. Oh, one more as we're leaving. So El Camino. Always cool cars in a parking lot. 